All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Some kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. Sure. Tell your friends about me, huh? Okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. <laughs> sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You uh you got another quarter on you? What do I look like? A bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? You think old Joe will ever make good on that 50 cents I just invested in him? Well, that is a flower of some sort. You Evil? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, buddy! Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
knock off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical room. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Hey, Charlie, help. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then son. God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Shit. Buckley. Last time I saw him, he was fine. I mean, he was even jonesing for extra security detail. What the hell? Charlie, get over here.
One of you is back to try again. Excellent. Everyone likes a trier. I do hope you get the outcomes that you want. For the benefit of the other, let me explain a few things. I am the curator, the curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Sometimes you will be determining the story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. 
We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. We got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Dude, of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You got to do exactly what I say. Cool. Well, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um. Kinda. Just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Yeah, uh, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer.
<laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh, and I'm buying. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with my Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. This is different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I don't see Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, Who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hey, sis. Mm-hmm. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Hey, uh, mind 
if I help you out a little? One, why are you acting so weird? And two, why are you offering to help for like the first time ever in your life? Look, I was just thinking it might make a good first impression on the lovely Fliss. Okay, now three, don't call her the, she's a person, not a thing. And four, do you ever even think about anything else? Hey, lady's got a thirst and I'm here to quench it. And what's with all the numbers? Oh yeah, I forgot. Bro's afraid of math and that's five. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Uh, yeah, for real. We paid top dollar to come out here in the middle of nowhere to do whatever the hell we want without any namby-pambies breathing down our neck. That's the good old American way. I'm serious, Connie. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great. I'm gonna kick back and uh, enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade-A creep. Yeah, I got it. Gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. I think this might be bogus. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Hey, I like it when you're strict. And sometimes I just wanna be kept in line, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you to turn that off? Turn what off? That thing where you have to hit on me like every two seconds. I'm just trying to liven things up a little. What the hell else is there to do around here? <laughs> oh, I can think of plenty of things. Coil the ropes, scrape some barnacles. I'm good. Totally good. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Hey now, this is coming from Captain Counterfeit. Excuse me? Were you snooping? Okay, okay, let's just relax. I honestly don't give a shit. Julie is another story, but I guess if we're all willing to bend the rules a bit. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Nobody has to know that we were down in that wreck. We'll just do a little of the old in and out, presto, the report finding it afterwards if you're so inclined. You know what? Fine. Do what you want. You're not gonna listen to me anyways. But if you take one thing from that wreck, you're gonna make us all criminals. How you feeling? Shouldn't have had that beer. I gotta admit, you are down for the count. But that's one less dude on Fliss's radar. I mean, I got the kind of rip bod that puts the wind in the sails of a seafaring gal. But you got that whole brainiac thing going on. That's nothing to sneeze at. Don't worry, stud. She's all yours. Okay, that's my cue to beat it and make my moves on Captain Kiss. Hello, Locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. 
Good on you, Alex. Tanks are ready when you are. 